Advertisements on the outside of bi-state buses and trains will soon be a thing of the past. Bi-state is dropping it, even though it generates millions of dollars a year. The change went into effect New Year's Day. Elliot Davis talks with the head of Bi-state about this expensive change on tonight's You Paid For It. One in four Metro buses, trains, and car ride vans had advertising on the outside. Bi-state made the contract with the firm five years ago to get that advertising. It has been pretty profitable for the agency. Bi-state made between $1.3 million and $2 million a year off those ads for the past five years. Now, CEO Toby Roach says Bi-state has decided to end that advertising program as of New Year's Day. Really, we're kind of reflecting a successful pilot that's been done in St. Clair County. St. Clair County took the advertising off of the trains and buses in, in that county successfully over the past two years. And what we found is that the community simply likes it a little bit better. It has a more professional and more kind of profound imagery out to the communities that we serve. There were 144 ads on the buses, trains, and vans. Some had more than one ad on them. There were limits on what was allowed. Those ads included legal, financial, educational institutions, auto salvage, and entertainment. By State showed me the new color scheme for its buses that you'll see from now on. But that was generating up to $2 million in, in revenue. Why lose that revenue? Not everything is about money. Um, one, but one good thing is that over the past five fiscal years, we have we have consistently made a 1.5 percent growth budget. But that means that our budget is sound and it makes sense. So when we can do things that the community wants us to do, that makes our image look good, then it's important that we do it. Bisay says while you won't see ads in the outside of buses and trains, they will still allow them on the inside. They expect that to generate about $525,000. That a lot less than they got before. But Talby Roach says there's still something else to consider here. Every municipality, every train, every village that we go through, um, they have their own um, municipal ordinances about billboards and so on. And part of this is just respecting what that is and not having a rolling billboard through every single community. Bi-State says they're making the change over to take down the ads on the buses and trains over the next six months. Of course, I'll keep you up on this deal. After all, you paid for it.